hey, if you want to transfer data to your Redmi Pad SE from second device, in my case, uh, I'm using the phone. Uh, first, on the both devices, you have to open the Play Store and you have to download application to transfer data. So I'm gonna recommend you this application. The name is Send Anywhere. So there it is. We have downloaded this application and do the same on this second device. There we go. Let's tap install on the both devices. Uh, in my case, I have to complete some steps uh, for my account, but I'm gonna skip it. Actually, I don't need to put some uh, payment card or something like that. So in this time, we can open this application on the first device. Uh, right now, we'll have some pop-ups notifications that we have to accept. So tap right here and tap to confirm. Tap continue and accept the permissions. One more time, uh, we can skip this updates. Tap close. And let's take a look how it works on our Redmi Pad. There we go. Okay, for some reason it wasn't downloading, so let's do this right now. And of course, on this device, we have to select the send. And on our Redmi, we have to select receive. If you have an issue to download this application, like in my case, as you can see, it is pending all the time. Uh, I guess that's uh, the reason with the background applications. So something is downloading probably. So we have to go for understood. Let's take a look for the application updates. Okay, I guess it's the issue with the date and the time. So let's go to the additional settings if you have the same issue. There we go. Yeah, right now it is set up correctly. The date and the time is the same. So let's try to, to download this application right now. Let's click on this download button. And as you can see right now, it looks like it's downloading. Yeah, there we go. So if you have the same issue, just fix it. Like in my case, just be sure that you are in the correct region in the settings. So right now open this application. Welcome to the Send Anywhere, easy, quick and unlimited transfer. There we go. Accept the permissions the same like on our Pixel phone. Click Continue, accept the permissions. Uh, you can enable these notifications and skip this one. Tap Close. And here we have to go to Receive Data on our Redmi Pad SE. So from this place, uh, we are able to send everything. We've got audio, apps, contacts, uh, the videos, wherever you want. Let's say that I want to transfer this to videos. Um, yeah, just like this. Okay, and uh, I have to tap send. And then after a few seconds, I have to input this code right here. And then tap on this marker. Now it is downloading the data from my phone. And of course, this videos will stay on this device. It's not like you are uh, you are cutting them from this device. No, you are only copy them. So here it is, uh, we, are, we received. And now to get it on the device, we have to click right here and tap send. No, 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 sorry guys for that. Oh, that's my bad, I don't know. What it is, that's weird. But what did we receive? Yeah, it looks like. So let's open the files or the gallery. Go to the albums. And here we've got uh, the album from the Send Anywhere. So it means that we successfully received the two videos that I sent from this device to device. And that's how we can copy everything. That's all. Bye bye.